<laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. All right. What are we doing? We've got Aaron here. He's got a sore ankle. We, you know me. Come off a... Uh, <laughs> I'm new. Off a scooter. Yeah, I rolled my ankle really badly. I, I can't remember which one it was. I think I did my left a few times ages ago, like 10 years ago. Um, it was really bad, but just kind of rehabbed a little bit um, and went on with my life. Then I fell off a bike in Bali uh, about six months ago, and I've actually got a lot of kind of pretty bad scarring around the site where I rolled my ankle. Anyway, long story short, I've always had an issue with um, pronating my left foot. So my right foot can supinate pronate pretty well, but my left foot always feels like it's stuck in, in supination, which means like a high arch like this, if you can see. So I can't pronate really well compared to my right, which you can see can pronate there. So I think, I was just thinking about the other day, I reckon that plus the motorbike, plus some probably other little rolls that I've forgotten about, I don't think I've cleaned this ankle out with treatment enough to allow my foot to move again. My brain still, like, I guess, perceives like there's an injury there. So um, our whole, our, our um, what do you call it, a slogan or a, or a motto is clean first, build second. So even though I've done, I I'm pretty much live barefoot, do training every day, I feel like I haven't had it properly cleaned, um, especially over those new scarrings there as well, which can cause some some trouble for your brain and connection wise. So Ninja is here to give me my first real clean out of my ankle to see if it can really help with my movement going forward. Yep, cool. So if you can just go, just do a little test. Yeah. Tell me where you feel like it's blocked or there's some pain or restriction. Well, I, I rolled out like that. Yeah. And so these ligaments were all stretched, but when I, when I try and pronate, I do feel like something's jammed in there. So even though I rolled out and they're yeah. overstretched, I just feel like they need to be kind of cleaned. But I also think probably in here as well. Yeah, in that one. Needs yeah. a bit of cleaning too. But yeah, I just feel like that whole band needs yeah. to be freed up. So can you do a little lunge for us? And, yeah. And just sort of see. So you got good. Yeah, no, I haven't got any impingement. Yeah. That, that's the thing. It's, it's never been jammed there. It's always just had an issue of pronating. So I feel like just, yeah, this that band, retinaculum, whatever you call it, just needs yeah. some flossing. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so yeah. Have a seat, man. Oh, thanks, mate. It's, uh, <laughs> Do you, I might, is it better for the camera if I maybe pull up a few here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no, I need to get into that. Always got to get the angle right, So, I'm just going to start uh, working around. You can see that ankle line there, so I'm just going to start in here. There's a scar here, so let's start on that. So, Push right into there. Yeah, that's straight, away. straight away, it's sore. So what I, I like doing here, you sink in for a start, just a little bit, and then just to get a bit more information, I'll angle that way, yeah. and then angle that way. Up. So up was more like where the the pain is. So like that's the direction up there where the probably where the ligaments yeah. are, are more oh, wow. damaged and scarred. So we need to to work that. So I'm, sharp quite sharp pain when you work on ankles and and but they they do get quite a bit of um gunk in them like calcium uh spurs that um stops the the movement and and the flow so um yeah it's important that you, you have it work so yeah being barefoot is awesome but um getting the the cleaning work done is is even more important so then allows you to fully come back to function and, and not have pain and restriction. So I'm just gonna shimmy along there a bit. That one there I can yeah, feel. Just, that it's one. It's all good, like yeah. it just feels like it's been in there for ages. So down. Down's good now too, that's, yeah. that's actually goes to my toes big time. Yeah, so just, when I was just exploring along there, I just felt that it was uh, more junked up down. So I just sort of intuitively went with that and I can feel there's a bit of a line there oh, so I yeah. can, I can oh, um, wow, keep on that. That's shooting right there, big time. Yeah, so you just follow that lead, you know. I'm just slowly going down towards the toes and try to scoop that gunk oh. out. So I can feel something else coming up just there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we'll just keep on that. Come down a bit. Wow. And stay on it, like that. So you, the 
ankle treatments, wrist treatments, they can be so effective. And um, it's not a place where you generally think of um, doing manual therapy, but you can get awesome results. They really respond well, like just a slow, deep treatment. So, and you just gotta be intuitive and like, it's so important just to work with the person as well. They, they can give you so much intelligent information about where to work and what needs to be unblocked just by, because they, they live in their body, so they, they know the, the pains and the restrictions and the, and, the, and the movements and things like that. So they can tell you, you know, if the, the sensation they're feeling while, you, while they're getting treated is traumatic or uh, good pain, you know, it's gonna be beneficial in the future. And, and you just, there's a knowing when you're having treatment that what that's the case. If it's, you know, you're not ready sometimes, it's still healing or it's a emotional kind of thing that's you're not ready to, to work through yet. And um, yeah, or it, yeah, it's, it's good. So you just gotta work at the rate that the tissue is releasing out and the, the readiness of the, the person. So we're just going through a good bunch of stuff in here. So this is where the, right where the scar is. So I'm gonna push right into that joint again. But it feels like there's some good gunk there as well. So it's going up. What's that like, up? Good, yeah, it doesn't, not as painful as what you were just on, but yeah. it feels like it's kind of trying to mobilize my ankle a little bit. Yeah. I'm just gonna change my tools. So going from left hand to right hand so I can kind of work that up like that into that gunk on that scar. Do you feel like you want to move your knee or anything as well? Maybe, like, yeah, maybe, maybe you want more to stand up to the other side as well, I reckon. In here? Yeah, I think that's probably. Oh, yeah. Do the left hand so you can see it. So you can feel there's a real, when you go back there, just there, yeah, yeah. that feels like there's a um, a good anchor point for ligament to get onto. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, that was a bit of mobilization. So yeah. they'll, um, yeah, cracked in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you just sort of sense when you're feeling um, a good, like little knobbly bit, that's where uh, ligaments and tendons have a opportunity to get onto. They don't really hook onto flat bone that well. They've got, they've got to have some sort of, um, groove or nook to, to join onto. So you can you feel for that kind of stuff on the bones when you're working and then you know there's gonna be gunk stuck in there as well. It's gonna go up over that a bit more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, ah, fuck. Oh wow. Oh, that was good there. Oh, up into here. Oh. Oh man. Oh. This is some good oh. stuff just there. I feel that. <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh wow. So let's it's move on. Tapping out. Oh. <laughs> Go around here a bit. Yeah, that's getting into some nasty stuff there, man. Oh wow. Just gonna clean this joint out. Clean the joint out. Like that. Oh. Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> Your feet are so dirty. <laughs> oh, man, they're disgusting. I no, can't you just cleaned them up, too. I can't wait for the fucking comments. Right? Let's do, <laughs> we go out a little bit. And just foot out here a bit more, just so I can get in behind. So I'm gonna clean up around the back of this ankle bone. Let's see if there's anything in there. I need to get a pedicure. <laughs> we should all go have we should go one. And get one. Let's get one now. Yeah. All those joints be shut, wouldn't they? <laughs> Probably. True. No, they're essential. <laughs> <laughs> See a picture of your feet? It's essential. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your feet look like this. You get, you get all parts. <laughs> so I'm just going to go onto that scar there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit there. Oh, wowee. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's 
good stuff there, Riley. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. In the back of here. Oh. Like some oh. camera angles. Oh, wow. So I'm pulling back with this hand, lost it. Pulling back with that one and pushing in. So I'm getting a lot of, creating a lot of force, but really slow and detailed as well. Well, just a little bit. Oh, it's ropey in there, isn't it? Yeah, licking me off. Double thumb it. Double gobra. <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's good, man. Awesome. We might um move on to that inside ankle now. Yeah. That's a bit of a wonder. See, yeah, see how that feels? Yeah. That's amazing. Just that feeling of kind of emptiness, like just clean. So yeah, we're breaking things down into smaller particles so the body can um, flush it out, deal with it. That's the main premise. Like, you, um, when it's in a big, bigger chunks, bigger, bigger problems, break it down into smaller particles. So it's the same thing, you know, melting it, freeing it up, and then the body can uh, deal with things. So it's a smaller, smaller thing. So the healing can happen. So yeah, when I get there. So the thumb angle. Yeah, I have to do it this thumb so you can actually see. So the, the money spot in the ankle is just here. So we can just find that. So it takes a little bit to, to find sometimes, but Aaron's come straight onto it. You can just tell there's a lot in there. Yeah. So I'm just sort of, like I'm trying to crowbar in here and, and crowbar it out and down. And going down along his foot bone a bit there. Oh wow. And just keep that. Oh wow. Oh man. Yeah, I think this is the stuff that's jammed, that's not letting that ankle move inwards. Yeah. So we can go down another line. <laughs> this line on his bone that's I can feel. Much. That's just nuts. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. This is a good spot just here. I can feel oh. that sharpness on your bone. Yeah. some serious stuff out there man I just got so like knackered just then yeah taking energy yeah to man. process this I feel like I'm going down your foot a bit further now like yeah. a bit of a gunk spot there but mm. that's just so good Can I go up? This sort of test up as well. Oh, oh. So we go push up into that bone there. And that hurts. Oh, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. Just trying to mould it. 
section around there. Now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Aaron can just move his leg around a little bit and just oh. have to exaggerate me hitting onto the spots where it's gunked up. Often find that um, the inside is the key spot, so it's, it's mm. not even worked, or no one works ankles anyway. But yeah, the, the the spot that is creating all the restriction and the pain is often on the inside. Even though you, when you roll your ankle, typically you roll it out like that, and all these joints are damaged. And if stretch. you look at the mechanics of that, they stretch. But look what happens here; these all jam up, and so that's why. Like for me, I felt like I was stuck in supination probably because these have been jammed for so long And it hasn't really affected me too much, but it's probably not making me as efficient as I could be Do you want to do some mocha or? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. All right, so I've got a brand new... <laughs> you got the cigar I've got there, it out. <laughs> So I just want to show you from the... If I can open the bloody thing. So yeah, Mock Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Mugwort root. <laughs> if I can fucking open it, <laughs> we'll get this treatment done. Here we are. <laughs> Mugwort root. And we've got a, a purple lighter. We need a, and just a metal cup. A cup. <laughs> with a duck on it. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's a duck. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Takes a like a little bit to light them, this is, so it takes a couple of minutes. So we want to get this all nice and hot on the top. So with um, mocks, so just doing um, not, when you're not doing like meridian points and things like that, it actually can work very well at unblocking things, especially on um, the bony prominent parts of your body. So we've had lots of success using this on ankles, toes, fingers, wrists, things like that. We even used um it on pubic bone as well so where there's not much flesh over the top um, the moxa can work really well and that um, radiant heat really travels into the body and it can go in between the bones as well and and um, melt down stuff you know and and get things moving in there where the thumbs can't get perhaps you know so um, so for some reason yeah moxa can be a magical <laughs> Are we lit up, you reckon? Just try and light a bit more. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Probably want a bit more. Good lighter. Yeah, if it worked. <laughs> that might be enough. So anyway, so with Moxa, you work really closely with the person, so um, <coughs> they've got to tell you straight away when it's hot. So what you do, you put your hand near, so I want to go into this money spot here. So you put your hand near it so you can kind of tell if you're burning the person because that radiant heat will go into your hand as well. And so when it gets hot, Aaron's just got to say hot and I'll take it away straight yep. away. Like that, and we put it back in that spot. Yep. And then you go a third time. Yep. 
something like that. It gets quicker every time, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so get when the, the last one's only a couple of seconds, we say that's full, that spot there. So then I progress on to just a slightly different spot. One more go there. Yeah. Oh, that was quick. So the, the ash just came off then. So get, come around here, Maddie. We'll do some around here. Just so the light's a bit better. So, yeah, you sort of want to get in right into that scar there. Well. Yeah, really trying to break down that scar tissue. Yep. Yep. Oh no, look. <laughs> My end fell off. <laughs> Your knob came off. <laughs> My end came off. Anyway, anyway. So, so we systematically went through the the this with the moxa and then um test things like that and then just see what's going on so yeah i mean you have another walk yeah just after the little bit i'll get a moxa yeah oh man i feel yeah. so much better yeah if i had an hour of that i reckon you'd just completely fix it yeah my arch is spreading yeah. because all my, all my bones in my feet are actually moving again instead of just being locked in one position so yeah. Obviously, what's been cleaned out, my brain has perceived that it's it's okay to move in those positions again. So, yeah. Yeah, if you roll your ankle, like everyone as a kid or a teenager playing sport and have rolled their ankle, they probably haven't rehabbed it properly. And that stuff's probably still there causing your issues, like your lower back pain or your hip pain. So, yeah, yeah. just a bit of a yeah. stuff to think about. Maybe yeah. your ankle needs a good clean out. Yeah. So, you, you can get... Work, like, an old ankle is really good to work on, like an old ankle injury, like um, the one that's... You know, over a month old, but um, even when they're in the first bit, if it's a, just a slight ankle roll, mm. you can work on them pretty much straight away and do it yourself. Yeah. But after maybe even a bad one, you probably after two weeks you start to work on it, um, and you can work through the like the top of the foot and things like that, and really work into where it's um, swollen up and uh, start to flush that out as well. So um, don't be scared to to work on an angle with um, manual therapy it's um nice and slow and deep uh it's really effective so yeah thanks ninja thank you bye <laughs> done